In this video you will learn about new feature inside NGRX which is called Create Feature. Starting from Angular 15 we are getting inside NGRX such feature which is called Create Feature. And this is just a sugar to create a reducer which allows us to write much less code than previously and it simplifies our application. Let's have a look. Here I have a small NGRX application where we are fetching a list of posts from the backend. You can see here loading indicator and then our posts. And here we have actions for get posts and success. And as it is all done with NGRX, here inside console you can see our posts with this loading posts and error. Now let's look on our code. I want to jump inside post store and here is a reducer. And this is exactly the code that we had previously. We are defining here an initial state and by using create reducer function we are creating reducers. Additionally to that in order to get all this stuff inside our component we typically have a selectors file where we define our select feature and some selectors like for is loading, posts and error. This is quite a lot of code. Now let's refactor this to latest feature from NGRX which is called create feature. I will comment out this reducers code and instead I will write here const and then post feature. And what I want to call here is create feature function which we are getting from NGRX store. Now inside we are providing an object and the first here is name. This is the name of our feature and we can write here posts. After this we want to define here a reducer. And inside reducer we simply assign create reducer, which actually means I can copy everything that we had previously and just move here inside. This is not like this code is obsolete, it is just used inside, which actually means inside create feature we are defining our name and the reducer. And the reducer is simply a call of create reducer and all our code with initial state and different on events is staying completely the same we don't change it at all. But here is what we are getting back. What I want to do here, I want to re-export lots of stuff from our feature. And here we can say that we are getting some properties from our posts feature. And first of all, what we are getting here is a name. So what is name? As you can see here, this is our post name. And it is nice to have it because we are defining it just from a single place here. And we don't have just string everywhere, but we are using some variable. But as the name is super generic name, I really like to assign it to the variable which is called post feature key, which actually means we are creating a post feature and inside we have store and this is our key, which actually means if we are creating a new feature with auth, then I will create auth feature key and this is a unique key in the whole application. After this we want to re-export our reducer. And again reducer is super generic name, I want to write here post reducer. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing, it helps a lot. And now here we are coming to the fun stuff. As I already showed you, we must define all these selectors to get our data from reducer inside component. Now we don't need to define all these selectors at all, because all these simple selectors, which are just reading values from our state, we are getting out of the box, which actually means here we are getting select, and as you can see here, I am getting lots of different selectors. We have select arrow, which will select for us an error field, select post, which will select posts array, is loading for boolean property. And I also can select the whole state, but typically we don't want that, which actually means we can re-export here select arrow, then select is loading and select posts. And with these three lines, we are getting three selectors out of the box and we can completely remove this file selectors. We don't need it at all. So as you can see, create feature is a lot about sugar and not about some new stuff that you probably don't need. Now what we want to do, we want to jump back inside our component. So here is my component. And as you can see on the top, we are getting all these three selectors from store selectors. We can simply remove here word selectors and write here reducers. And the only problem now that all selectors inside NGRX now, which are predefined, are starting with word select, which actually means this is wrong. It must be here select and then arrow, then select is loading and select posts. So we are getting all these three selectors and now here inside this to pipe select we can simply select is loading 
then select error and select both. And these are the only changes that we need to do. Let's check if it's working. We are getting another error inside main. So let's have a look on it. I want to jump back inside our main, inside source. And as you can see here, we are getting an error that we don't have a reducers anymore because now it is exported as a reducer. So let's update this. This is now reducer. And here we have provide state in order to register this reducer. Additionally to that, as you can see, we are writing post string, which is bad because this is not unique and we can do typo in it but not anymore. Now here additionally, we can export here post feature key. And now this post feature key is unique for the whole application and we can provide it as a unique key inside our provide state. And actually, as you can see here, I wrote it not correctly. It is not reducer, but it is post reducer because we wanted a unique name. Now we don't have any errors. Let's look in console. Again, it is green here. Let's look in browser. I'm reloading the page and the whole code is working exactly like previously, but now we're writing much less code. First of all, we have here a feature key, then we don't have any selectors at all because we are getting all these standard selectors out of create feature and the changes to migrate from create reducer to create feature are really not that big but it saves a lot of time of typing all standard selectors. And actually, if you're interested to know how NGRX is working from start to the end, make sure to check this video also.